Kyura, Malole, Salam Alaikum, top of the morning to you. Today I've got a um, topic that, that I, I, I'm sure everybody out there will encounter. Everybody can probably relate. That's dreams. Once again, as I said, yeah, I'm sure everyone can relate to this. I don't know, they'll all have their different dreams. But let's get into it. I used to sleep with uh, one of these for years and years. Always had the vision that that's the best time to get me when I'm asleep. It makes sense. I'm asleep. Come and get me. So I used to sleep with one of those. Over the years, you know, they become uncomfortable, annoying. You, if you woke up, you have to load the thing or whatever. You have, to, you have to load it. You can't sleep with a loaded freaking gun. So now I sleep. Well, over the years I sleep with different ones, but now I sleep with these. All these are as an extension of these. They have a, a, a lethal extension of these. So if you know how to use these, these are just easy. So don't wake me up. <laughs> don't wake me up at all. I'll wake up. You yell out. Everyone knows, will yell out to me, I'll wake up, sweet as. Now there's different kind of dreams that I, I'm talking about me. I have reoccurring dreams that happen over and over. I have night tremors, I have violent dreams, I have dreams of getting caught, and I have dreams of spiders, arachnophobia. I don't know, that's what I was scared, spiders still am. Not scared, but whatever. So we'll get, I'll, I'll start with the. Re oh, I've got my notes. I've got my notes just so I make sure I cover the whole thing. I don't want to miss any out. I want to get it clear. I want people to understand my journey and why maybe maybe someone out there is a freaking sleep analyst. They'll be able to clock in with me. So thanks for clocking in and and all the people that are going to watch this later. Thank you for clocking in. So the reoccurring ones, the, the, the main reoccurring one I had over the years was, it's a pretty vicious one, very, and I had it like, I don't know, five. I got my own understanding of why, but we'll get to that. So it's, um, yeah, someone, someone come around with their mate, and in my, in my dreams there's never no faces, it's just blur, but someone come around, there was two of them come around, and uh, they're obviously coming around for violence. I, 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 dreams just get dreams hard to remember. So I'll get to that too. So anyway, they come around. I ended up fucking shotgunning them. Boom! I might have actually shot him in the face. I think I did. He shot him in the face, and then I had the mess to clean up. I don't know what happened to the other fella. So maybe there was one. But anyway, shot him in the face. I had the mess to clean up. And I was like, how am I going to do this? So I got one of these, and I cut them up into, I don't, I don't know, I, did, I never counted, about five, five to ten pieces, cut them up. And then from there, I went and put a piece in the river over there, and a piece in the mountains over there, and a piece in the sea, and a piece over there, and this is my dream. Put it over there, and dug a hole, and put a piece in there, and I was like, yeah, I'm getting there. The police come around and I had one more, one piece of this body left and got busted. And at that time, it's like, wow, 14 years, I'm going to do 14 years. Wow, oh, sweet, sweet. Wake up. Oh, me? It wasn't real. Ah, I had that about five times. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. So that. And in my, my thoughts, my how I think now is maybe, well not maybe, you gotta change your ways, motherfucker. If you don't change your ways, so it was gonna be violence. So that was a reoccurring one. The reoccurring one, other ones is being tortured, torturing people, falling, dying, <sighs> the last breath, and um, and war, in a combat situation. Like running around, being a soldier, Watching my mates die. So that's another reoccurring. I said killing. 
Yeah, what other reoccurring? There'll be others, but I'll just touch on that one because that that one was there. Yeah, I had it a lot of times. That cutting those body parts up, cut it up. It's all vision too. I could see it all, cut it all up, just like an animal. Cut them up, get rid of all the parts, and get busted, and wake up and it wasn't real. So that's the reoccurring parts. The night tremors. Those are, those are vicious. So I have two different kinds of night tremors. I'll just make sure I right, uh, look. So I have two 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 different kinds of night tremors. One one is well, what's that? one of the night tremors is that I'm lying and lying asleep. Obviously, I'm not really asleep, or and something comes in the room, or something's watching me. Something's happening in my dream, like something vicious, bad. I don't want to wake up. I want to wake up. So subconsciously, it, it, I'm trying to wake up, but I can't move. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. My mind's thinking, how do I wake up? How do I wake up? So I start to yell out, yell out to whoever's around. I, I, I'm, I know what's happening. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. So I scream out. It doesn't come out like a scream. It comes out like a, not a very funny sound. Not a <laughs> Not a good sound anyway. Uh, mm. So anyway, I get woken up and then see. So there's that one. There's other night trim that, that used to happen a lot. Is that what sit watching watching up in the corner of the room, watching myself sleeping and something comes in. I no faces, it's, I don't know what. Comes in the room and I'm up, I'm watching, up in the corner watching. Whatever's coming in over me, ah, it's pretty. Just, I don't know what, once again, I, I'm awake. I'm, I'm conscious. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to what, move, trying to yell, trying to. Nope, that did work well. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, watching myself from the corner of the room, I'm being, I'm paralyzed but awake. Uh, just make sure. Yeah, no faces, yelling for others, something in the room with me. Okay. They're violent, uh, pretty much all of that is violent. They're getting caught of, of doing something wrong, doing some violence, some kind of violence, and the police catch me. You know, it's, uh, thinking, yeah, I'm going to get away, I'm going to get away, and then I'm, I'm busted, but I wake up. Uh, Getting caught. The other one is, that, you know, I, I had arachnophobia from things in my childhood. Well, you can touch on that one day. But things in my childhood, so I had arachnophobia, so that's a pretty... I'm awake. Oh, I'm asleep. But I can't subconsciously, I'm just, whatever. And the spiders crawling, coming all over me. Well, I'm paralyzed. I can't move. They're coming over me. That's yeah, this pretty full on. Over the years, I worked out to write, write them down. As soon as I wake up, write that dream down. Because I find that over time, I wake up, and then over time, that, that dream drifts away. So I started writing these dreams down. And half the time, it didn't make any sense, but the quicker I wrote the dream down, the quicker it was more clear. Still no faces. Very rarely, very rarely. There was, there was one recent actually, one of my brothers died, one of my brothers died and at the tangi, I won't get into too, too deep to details, but one of my brothers died and at the tangi, I was upset with, for whatever reason, at the tangi, a fellow that died years before him, come, he was in the dream, but he was already dead, so he came in the dream, these faces were visible, and he came in the dream and told me not to worry about don't worry about those ones over there. There's nothing you can do about it. You're all right. Carry on. And he gave me something. What he gave me is... I still... Today, it was a recent one. Today, I'm trying to work out what he was giving me. I think I could understand what he was giving me, but... What the hell? I don't remember any faces ever. But someone that died... I went to their... Well, in my dream, went to their tongue. And someone that died, like, I think five years before... He turned up and he turned up as well, and to, yeah, and sort of calmed me down in my dream. <laughs> Crazy, 
crazy. So I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that can relate out there to this, these dreams. I after a while I, st I started realizing that I could fight this. I could fight these dreams, but that that doesn't it doesn't end well that one. So I know that things are happening in my sleep, and I must be subconscious of thinking that. Well, I'm, fuck it, I'm gonna fight. I'm, I get get out. But then I get put in the corner and watch. <laughs> I'm be sitting up there watching you paralyzed on the paralyzed on the bed, knowing you can wake up, but you can't. Well, well you just need someone just needs to go, what? And then I wake up. But I'm like that. So it's pretty freaked out being paralyzed and not being able to do anything. So I still sleep with my two beautiful ones. No one's ever come, oh, back in the day, two people would only come to my house. And that got dealt with really, really, real quick. And it is what it is. I didn't go to jail. They didn't get seriously hurt. But for years, I, for the first 10 years, 15 years, 10, 15, yeah, I was waiting for someone to come to my house. I was waiting, waiting, waiting for them to come. No, I was waiting for nothing. Waiting for myself to fuck up, more likely. I'll just make sure I cover it all, fighting my dreams, watching myself in the corner, writing them down. I'd like to thank all the subscribers, my numbers are getting up there. Keep comments, keep commenting. I, I enjoy actually um, engaging with people. Everyone's got their ideas, questions, spit them out. Put the questions in the comments about this, other thing, uh, anything. And if it's a uh, a great question, I'll answer it the best way I can. I'll do some more content. I'll do some more content today. Yesterday was my 16th day of doing content. 16 days. Is, obviously, my page has been, um, my channel, my platform been longer than 16 days, but the first two weeks or whatever, I just, I got videos that I was just putting out there. putting. So that wasn't really work. So my 16th day, have a day off. To me, this is not making money. As you can see, nothing's monetized, or a couple are, but nothing. It's not about making money, it's about spreading my neg from negativity to positivity. And that's why I went there. And to motivate people, to motivate people that it, not, it's not just you going through that shit, other people go through it too. So, from my journeys, my stories, my experiences from negativity to positivity. To motivate people, to reach out to the youth, that it is better out there. If you're going through shit in your head or your life or whatever, there's still there's still more. <laughs> there's still more. Woolly dog snoring over there. He's still asleep. He has nightmares. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. That's 30 minutes. Clock in the game. Ah.